where we left off. <laughs> Yeah, uh, without further ado, for reals this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to get into Alan. Yeah, game one, game one. Without technical difficulties coming out here, uh, Mr. E had to kind of fix out his internet. He had a bit of an issue there. But uh, nonetheless, now he is back. And, of course, so is him and Alan Disc. Let's get into game one here in winner's quarters. Like we mentioned earlier, Fro, this is a match you would see in top eight. Not before top eight, but as I mentioned before, as a broken record. Because nobody heard me in the other VOD. <laughs> um, this is the match, yeah. you, you know, because it's Wi-Fi, you always have to play those pre-top eight matches a little bit early. And who better than have, like, one of the best snake representatives Woo. and one of the best representatives of Martha Lucina as well. Absolutely. I love that counter there by Mr. Reeves. Perfect time and anticipation for what Alan just wanted. A couple of trades here, but even though, you know, when you're playing snake, you want those trades, Alan just is not, not necessarily getting the best possible position out of them man mr e is just like he is turning on the jets like normally speaking this is a matchup that i tell everybody if you're ill prepared it's it can be a really rough one because snake pulls up their grenades and if your sword hits through that shield which it will it'll hit the grenade and then you get hit for it but mr e just knows man i, I have to move so cautious i have to space this back air i know how to avoid hitting the grenade altogether i know this matchup man he, li he lives out on the east coast there's quite some powerful east coast snakes out there yeah I just want to highlight that in this matchup, there's a couple funny little things like the fact that Lucina can kind of get away with up B uh, to deal with Snake escaping uh, vertically without really having to worry about landing in some situations just because of how long it takes Snake to unhook from Cypher. Yeah. Saw that a little while ago. But right now, Mystery e with firm lead, Alan just needs to figure out some kind of advanced strategy some kind of trap situation to even things up here before mystery starts to snowball this lead and with lucina and just the ability to both have that disjoint and that floaty aerial control you can play such a good defensive game character and he knows very well how to execute that game plan yeah the best defense is a good offense and mr e is not letting alan just come back on the stage for free and he has such a great powerful offensive pressure that man he is just able to use that up to just try to hit alan disc every single time he's got a stock lead oh. too the one thing too for like e and this, oh i was gonna say that, that that's oh. a shield break yeah yeah bullseye that, yeah that's a bullseye that's that's good that's good that's that's minute of your moment number one of tonight man just being able to get that shield break right away thanks mr e for that cross promotion love it <laughs> but yeah e right now is running away with this one and snakes got some issues with the comeback character in some cases i mean granted you have tools like up tilt it does tend to steal the deal there but now with full stock away and still having to sit far behind and e is basically just picking and choosing his spots yeah, and as he should, this is a match if you have to be very careful. The second that you are not able to no longer get into Snake and he gets to play his game plan against you, it becomes really difficult because Snake or Nade, Snake, everything in Snake is Arsenal is designed to have the ultimate neutral punish game, but also a really strong keep away game. And for Mr. E, like I said, he is keeping that really good offense. But the one part he's really good at, too, is making sure he doesn't clip grenade, but also the delay of his arrows is so strong. We saw yeah. how that delay was just able to get that shield break. I'm just amazed that even though like he has a full stock lead, he's not like taking consecutive 10 damage amounts from all the grenades being left all over the place by Alan Diss. It's almost as if he's saying, hey, you got to pick up this trash, man. Pick this up. I want to move. <laughs> no, no littering. No littering on my stage, please. <laughs> Um, and as a big fan of mystery as I am, dude, I don't want to see this come out of the wash from Alan Diss. And he's slowly moving in here. He knows he's got 58%. One good, honestly, for Snake, even with Rage, one good play like that, and immediately things are pretty even in terms of just this current stock for Mr. E. Uh, Mr. E still has another stock to play with. So if Alan just continues to play his cards right and make it hard for Mr. E, he will have a really rough time as it goes. But that high recovery here, he has to be patient on that landing. And it kind of pays off a little bit here. Oh man, he almost got the full extent of that shield pressure and the shield breaker to follow up, but just barely miss, misspaced it. CB is trying to close it out here. Alan Dist just trying to hold tight defensively right now, trying to figure out a way to land. Does so. E now playing this. Oh, tech chase. Not quite the back here. Yeah. Not enough to knock that snake out of Cypher either. 
Oh, close. That was that up B here. And that up B is really fast when coming back on the stage. But yeah, not enough close to meet that threshold. That forward air going to send Allen this 181. Don't forget, man, Snake is a heavy, heavy man. He's got all those tools in his arsenal there. And he's able to come back on the stage. Jesus, Mr. E is, like I said, he is turning up these jets. He knows what the best defense is right now. Uh, going to hold on that shield. Excellent parry. And that sliding forward to get the punish on Allen this. Mr. E takes game one. Man, I'm telling you, really, you're just really solidly played by Mystery. But what were you about to tell us, Vance? Oh, uh, like I'm telling you, man, I am I am a huge fan of Mystery. And bias aside, man, I do. Alan Diss is one of those players I do want to see give Mystery a run for his money. Because honestly, some of the best yeah. matches of all time are the matches that you see your opponent or your favorite player being pushed to the edge of game five. And much to their dismay, but much to your your enjoyment in that case. And of course, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully we'll see a game three between Alan Dis and Mr. E. Uh, Alan Dis is definitely no joke. There's a reason why he's one of the best snakes in the world out there. Great job, player listening right now. Like, wait, what? Vance wants me to suffer? I thought you wanted me to 2-0 everybody. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, that's not oh, man. That's that's the Mr. E watches his VOD and he's just like, damn, Vance, I thought you were. I am a fan of you, but sometimes. You got you got to definitely watch some of those really really great hype moments because that's what it's the game threes the game fives oh, those are those are great the teeth clunchers as I like to call them here uh, so we'll see what Alan this can come back from man I like I said I never like to really see a wash between strong players and definitely getting to see them with some of their best moments is when it comes to being put out to game three or the fight for game three and Alan this man Woo! putting out a great moment right there that was a wonderful setup to get fair on stage but oh Miss Reed. Good tech there by Alan Dis. He was he was prepared. Get the double head of the bad. There. I like to get up attack here. Not opting for any kind of roll to worry about mystery. Uh, once Lucina is gives you an attack chase, that's where things can become scary because mystery you can just go for down tilt, get the tech chase read, or any other opportunities that you don't want to miss. A little bit of an early execution here from Alan Dis, but I respect it here because he knows he had a little bit of fear in Mr. E on that one. Uh, gets the roll. Good coverage, too, because the Mr. E tried to get away from that. He had the grenade in play. I'll say it's, it's kind of surprising so far that the... Oh, what? I did not realize C4 was there. <laughs> that caught me by surprise, too. I was going to say, the surprising thing so far, aside from a couple of really well-placed traps and follow-ups here from Alan Dis so far, the thing that Mr. E had the hardest time dealing with so far has been Cypher, but man, E pulling out the confirms there, getting that landing aerial to up smash to take away uh, Alan's first stock. Yeah, the ability to use your Nair 1 and Dancing Blade 1 for combos and confirms is definitely what separates the boys to the men between a lot of the Lucina and Mark maids. And Mr. E, I'm telling you right now, that is a man of a Lucina man because he is oh. able to get that. But man, Alan Disc, he knows what he's fighting for. The center stage, man, he's got this man on even stocks. He knows, you know what, I cannot let Mr. E get everything he wants all the time. I gotta play this a little bit differently. And as we see, so much trapping there, man. If I can write a whole textbook about how Alan Dis just put out that situation there for Mr. E and how difficult he's making it for him to come back towards center stage. But E's finally gotten backstage control and now he's just absolutely punishing Dis for that. Not fair again. Big up tilt. Yeah, good good for Dis here. Sets up the grenade to cover that play. Gets back to center stage here, up tilt to cover anything uh, a little bit early. And the empty oh! hop, beautiful. Meta view moment number two, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are watching, <laughs> keep up with us here. Because uh, definitely, like I said, man, the best games I see here are the best of threes. And that's what I want to see from both these players, is when they push each other's character meta right to the very edge in this match. Yeah, Alan has definitely turned on the Jets here in game number two. Um, Often play a bit more aggressively too, just in terms of what he's going for setup wise. But ooh, all the aggression in the world doesn't do much against Lucina back here. And now Alan is trying to survive here, extend uh, the second stock right now. A beam, excellent oh. play to punish that first. Oh, he lived it. Man, that's an excellent DI from Alan. This uh, complimented by already snakes great weight. All right, sets up a really strong stage play here. Alan just knows, and I want to stop Misty from coming back. What a trade, man! Right on that napalm too. Oh, right. he was hoping that landing arrow would hit the grenade instead. The mystery man to space out perfectly and finally take Alan to second stock. But Alan just has got center stage. He has to dance around and figure out some way to land to get back into this. Alan just right now trying to play a little bit of keep away from Mr. Reed. Looking for these. Oof. 
<laughs> that was like, he was like, here's the big boot. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, I wonder what, uh, honestly, could, it's funny because Sakurai and Kojima are pretty buddy buddy with right. Snake being in this game, right? You know, Ko the story so goes is Kojima's son wanted Snake as a playable character in Smash Bros. And Sakurai's like, oh, say less, man. Like, let's work together on this. <laughs> I wonder what Kojima thinks when he sees Gert is like all these explosions coming from a tactical espionage expert. <laughs> because yeah. it, the character is explosive but that was really good on alan this to get that up tilt specifically towards that ledge most of the time yeah. if you're being juggled from your opponent the best way to avoid getting juggled altogether is to go towards the sides where you get that ledge invincibility and the alan this just knows man if your opponent's going to run anywhere it is towards that ledge to get that ledge invincibility and why not punish him there here as we get on to what i love to see here is game three between such two talented players and all three games on smash ball which that thing's kind of notable too now this using the grenade to get a grab. That was good. Mr. Reed fighting through the explosions. That's just kind of the thing too, is you have to like start to recognize just how much hit stun grenade has when you're gonna get hit by it, by it and be mindful in order to input, counting on that happening in certain situations. And Mr. Reed's done a really good job of that so far. Man, Mr. Reed was trying to be so patient there and Alan is like, I'm just gonna keep throwing explosives your way. Big dash yeah. attack, the trap set at ledge. Snake can be quite intimidating to play against if you're not ready because he's one of those characters where, oh, the back hit of oh. there, wow. <laughs> Alan just had the call out because he literally knew he was going to go for that jump and he knows, let me call this out, man, but before he can go for any aerial from that ledge, unfortunately, just he slipped through the cracks and that back hit of there is two hits and Alan just with the punish there on the landing yet again. Man, but the, only like thing, the only thing Snake doesn't have on his down air is a disjoint. That's how Mystery was able to, to knock him away with that. <laughs> I, I've, I, I think from my from my understanding is that hitbox from there is so big and it lasts like a little bit longer than you think. And it's just, it's crazy. I actually like watching Snake's there. It's just kind of cool. How it's kind of slow and wonky. Ooh, using the explosion right there, Mystery went high to meet Alanis, but nice air dodge battle. Ooh, what a punish the shield. All right, get that oh. back throw. No, it sets up for the reset here on that down air, narrowly missing it from Alan Dis. Both players right now are trying to outthink one another with all these setups. Oh, look for the tech chase, but it was just a little short mystery there, there right there with that down smash. He almost oh. jumped right into the explosion at box there too. That was good. Careful. Yeah, and that's good adaptation for Mr. E too, because he delayed his get up. Mystery went to the exact same spot on the tech chase and uh, whiffed in the exact same way. You might have to change tactics if you guess that uh, down tilt again. But right now, trying to corner Alan this. Oh, good explosion usage. And the up smash! Oh, caught Mr. E landing. And that is really key right now. Alan this. Yeah. Has a chance to start to move away with this game. Yeah, 161 here. And Alan this, he's making it really difficult for me to get this last block here at 161. He knows he can just taste it. And they're out of the shield. And it's pretty much a really good height there for you to be able to just get Snake because he's got such a tall hurt box. And now pretty much even game between these two uh, set stock, if I would like to call it myself. Yeah. All right, forward in here. This right now, Alan, this is like screw recycling. Here's all the garbage in the world. I can toss your way. <laughs> I argue to anybody like I hate a lot of Wi-Fi characters. Snake is a really strong Wi-Fi character, but I don't I don't hate Snake at all. Like I actually love Metal Gear Solid. And for Alan Dis to play the way that he's playing, he knows the one thing Snake accelerates here is just trapping the neutral. How can your opponent get in you when you have the, the neutral trap? And he's so good at executing that and keeping Mr. E that he puts out this cool. moment here on that one. He gets the up tilt. Incredible, man. It worked to so much to Alan Dis's excitement. And he gets three, I'm sorry, two one over Mr. E as he moves on from winner's quarters, sending Mr. E into losers. That was one hell of a ride.